What we're doing now is showing the coaches how to incorporate the goaltender in the practice plan. You don't have to have your entire practice plan revolving around the goalie, but you do have to involve the goalie. And the way to do that is simply do one or two drills, maybe three during the whole practice, where you slow the tempo down and the whole drill is for the goaltender. Meaning the goaltender can follow the play from the beginning before a shot to the shot and then after the shot. Here's a, a drill that probably every NHL, every professional hockey team does, it's called arc shoot. And all you have to do is slow this down so that it's for the goaltender, not for the forwards. It's not about shot after shot after shot. It's about waiting for the goaltender to get in position so he can follow the play. Here's arc shoot. Right, here we go. Good job. Back to the post. So here the goaltender can follow the play before, during, and then follow rebounds after. And you can have a player, either one player or two players, shagging pucks and making the passes. Another drill that you can do for a warm-up, again, that allows the goaltender to follow the play before a shot, allows him to make the save during the shot, and then follow after. Here we go. So the pass is made to the guy up front, the goaltender can follow, and then follow the rebound. Follow the play. So again, your tempo is slowed down to the practice. Is that it's not, because it's not for the forwards. You're slowing down the play, and maybe even start the play on a whistle, but allow the goaltender to go. Here's yet another drill that probably every team in North America, maybe the world does. In the DC area, they call it the Montreal drill. In Hershey, Pennsylvania, we call it circle pass and shoot. In Ohio, they call it the butterfly. But it's simple where the player without the puck loops around, gets a pass from the opposite corner. Everybody does this for warm up. Everybody does this in practice. The thing is, to make it a goaltender drill, you've got to allow the goaltender time to follow the pass, follow the save, make the save selection, and then follow the rebound. Again, this takes the tempo of a practice way down. And so you don't want to do this the whole practice. But if you want to get a goaltender drill in and make it make a drill that's beneficial for the goalie, this is the slower tempo that it has to be done. Here we go. Get to the post. And save. <laughs> Good. Now right there, right there was a great example of what really happens if there's a bad pass or a player doesn't get the puck. What you normally get in that drill is a bottleneck and you've got three players shooting one time or shots going one after the other from right down the middle and the goaltender isn't forced to move at all. For the drill to be beneficial for the goaltender and for the goalie to do what you want them to do, which is follow the play before and be ready early, make the save and then follow the rebound, this is the tempo it has to go at.